We are just entering the deep doldrums of summer releases, and I am playing a number of smaller games. I just finished Monument Valley on iPad, and my PlayStation Plus subscription has just netted me copies of Towerfall Ascension and the new Stride for PlayStation 4, and I will definitely be playing through the latter. These smaller, shorter experiences are just what I'm looking for in the summer when more of my time is spent outside doing things in the world, so mobile is a great island to plant myself on for a while. The experiences are generally shorter and easier to jump in and out of, and the quality that can be had for a fraction of the price of a traditional handheld game is at times mind-blowing, especially for a long-time gamer like myself. Tablet gaming is something that I have taken to in a way that many of my fellow core gamers can't quite wrap their heads around, and I think it comes down to one major thing, and that's the fact that touch controls don't really bother me. I know my abilities are being hampered a bit going in, especially with virtual D-pad and analog stick situations, but I'm not playing competitively here, and I don't need absolute precision. One of my all-time favorite tablet games is Deus Ex The Fall, and I can't tell you exactly why. It's an inferior extension of the console and PC release Deus Ex Human Revolution, but the medium and price made that a non-issue. It controls okay, looks good, and has the reasonably intricate gameplay and story I've come to expect from the series, and it delivered it all in the palms of my hand for $7. $7. Seeing premium releases hit the App Store at reasonable prices always gets me excited. I'll take a premiumly priced release over a $2.99 or $4.99 game with in-app purchases any day. I am the first to admit that I fall into a weird category of gamer though. For the most part, I don't come to games for mechanics, I come to them for experiences. This means that a wide swath of the high quality mobile landscape is not for me. I can appreciate that 3's, Super Hexagon, Ridiculous Fishing, and any number of other smaller releases are expertly designed and highly affordable, but they just aren't really for me. I want to step into a world. I can let issues slide if you make me feel like I'm in a new, crafted place, or a space where the range of things that can happen is expansive in possibility. There are a lot of concepts that could be explored here, but before the scope of this video gets out of control, let's rein things in a bit. Two games hit this week that I consider to be at the top end of premium pricing on the App Store, Civilization Revolution 2 and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. The first is a follow-up to the 2009 release of the original Civilization Revolution on iOS, and the latter is a port of a 2009 PlayStation Portable title. Both come in at $15. $15, you might say. And I say hell yes. Thank you. Could I please have some more? Mobile has proven itself as a space that can support freemium and cheap games, but as I said, that's just not my bag. So it is extremely excited for me to see big releases hitting for $15, especially when by most accounts the releases are really good. Word on Civilization Revolution 2 is that it is a modest follow-up to the original mechanically, and mostly focuses on menu streamlining, graphical improvements, and general tailoring to the touch platform. This may come as a slight disappointment for fans of the original, but it's a robust game with high production values that feels closer to a mid-range console or PC release than a small-scale mobile one, and I'll pay for that any day. Now Monster Hunter is a different beast. It's the infamous port situation, but this sounds like a winner. This isn't Square Enix releasing a 20-year-old 2D RPG for $16. This is a modern 3D game brought to a new platform with care. The graphics have seen some attention, and most importantly, a lot of care seems to have been put into making this work on a touchscreen. Oh, and multiplayer is completely intact. Controller support is also in from the get-go. It's nice to see tablet and touchscreen gaming getting some recognition from publishers as a place where more premium experiences can make sense. Ports and releases can scratch that nostalgia itch, and I hope we see more of them. But it's good to see original titles like Civilization Revolution 2 as well. Other games in this tier I would recommend giving a chance are Republic. This is an episodic stealth game made specifically for iPad out of one of the creatives behind Metal Gear Solid 4, and it will run you $15 all told. XCOM is a pretty faithful version of the recent PC and console title, and that goes for $10. Tim Schafer's latest Broken Age Part 1 is available for $10 as well, and strategy game FTL is also worth a look at $10. Also cheap nostalgia pick here, Jet Set Radio is $3, and the GTA series. They really shine on mobile at high resolutions and all can be had for under $10. Do you like premium titles on mobile? 
What are some of your favorites? Let me know in the comments. I've been Jonathan Downen for Fish Tuxedo. Like and subscribe if you're feeling the love. Thanks.